Welcome to the Population Ecology Lecture Series. In previous lectures of this unit on ecology, we learned about ecosystems of the world or the different biomes that exist around the Earth. We also learned about how these ecosystems change to processes like succession and how the biodiversity of the ecosystem matters a lot. We also talk about variations that exist within the ecosystems and a great number of variety that exist in life both at the ecosystem level and at all the other levels of life. We talk about community ecology, or relationships between different populations that exist within an ecosystem, with things like symbiotic relationships and competition and predator and prey and facilitation and dimensionalism and all these kinds of other relationships. We also talk about the concept of a niche. And finally, in general ecology, we talked about how matter and energy flow through the ecosystem or cycle through the ecosystem and how these things affect the food webs and food chains and food pyramid and explain the different parts of the ecosystem that exist. Biotic and abiotic factors interacting with each other. This video lecture series will focus on the lowest level of organization of all the ecological um, levels of life. The populations. Populations are groups of organisms of the same species, all living in a certain area. So I guess in order to understand what a population is, first you have to understand the concept of species. Now, there's a lot of ways that in which biologists define species or have defined species throughout history. Uh, I guess the most obvious way is looking at the way the animal or organism looks, which is doing what we call the morphological or physiological species test. You look at the anatomy of the organism, and based on the way it looks, you define them from another. Another way is by looking at the ecological species test, or the niche test, where if an organism has exactly the same role of another, or if it's very similar to the other on the environment, they live in the same place, they do the same things, they have the same niche, more than likely they are going to be the same species. It also can look at it from a genetic standpoint, which is the amount of genetic variation that exists between two organisms. If it's very, very similar, if you do genetic analysis, more than likely they are also the, various, the same species. But the most commonly used way to determine what a species is from another is what we call the sex test. If the two organisms can have offspring together and that offspring is so, still fertile, we call it the same species. For example, us humans can all have children with each other and those children will, are more likely to have children as well, so that means that we are all the same species. But if you say a lion and a tiger, for example, they can have offspring, they can make a liger, but the liger will be in, unable to have children, and that's why they are not the same species. Whichever way is it that you categorize the species, the idea you have to know is that a population is going to be a group of such organisms of the same species living in a similar environment or within the same general ecosystem. And what happens to the populations is very important for ecology because it will determine what happens at the higher levels of the community, ecosystem, and biome levels of the world. So let's talk a little bit about population ecology in this lecture series.